Good morning, Faith Box. Welcome to day 27. And I got Jesse here who's going to join us since we're together for the next five weeks. I'm just kidding. Um, you don't even know what this says yet. So day 27, I'm excited to see what, you, what you're going to think. Do you want to read it? Oh, no thanks. No thanks? Okay. Uh, day 27, the fears we don't face become our limits. Robin Sharma. And I really like that quote. What do you think about it? What was the quote? The fears we don't face become our limits. I mean, I heard a better one before, but it's not that bad. Well, what does it make you feel? If I understood it more, then it would probably mean more. So the, the fears we don't face become our limits. So when we don't face our fears, it holds us back from our greatest potential. At least that's what I got out of this. And I know I always talk about a God-sized dream and that we have a God-given purpose. So fear is the enemy holding us back from from our greatest potential and that becomes our limit. So when we face fear with faith, we're limitless. Do we? No? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, you feeling that, no? Um, I also talked about this before, but I just wanna say it again because I know it's not only helped me, but it's helped a lot that I've talked to. The fears we don't face become our limits. Well, I also realize that fear and worry and anxiety, all of that, our accountability partners and when I'm feeling that that means I'm not feeling God and I'm not trusting God and I'm not leading on to him and his own understandings so when I think of fear I think of it as an accountability partner rather than feeling like I'm about to fail something or feeling that I'm not at my fullest potential and when you let go and you let God the fears we don't face become our limits well that's not gonna happen when you face fear with faith so I hope this helped someone today and I know the world right now is a little chaotic and honestly I'm I'm excited to soak up my kids some more and it's so funny because this is the power of prayer. My son here was talking about or asking me to homeschool him and with me going to school and everything else I told him I just simply couldn't have, I didn't have the time. And I asked you to homeschool me before you started going to college. Or well, did you say no because you knew you were going to go to well, I didn't have the confidence, but ironically, now I am homeschooling because he must have prayed about it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> but now we're homeschooling and it's a challenge for the both of us. So um, thank you for being here and soaking up the Faith Box family. I'm sure they're going to be excited to meet you. But thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for showing up, especially time, a time like now. I know it's hard and it's easy to get out of your routines. It's easy to not show up, but one day at a time, give yourself grace. This is not a race and let go, let God. And I just, it's just so crazy that the theme this month is fear. And I'm just thankful to have my Faith Box community. Have a great day, guys.